New developments now. Two young people are dead, a third injured after a fiery crash in Swansea. This was the scene on 195 West just after 11 o'clock last night. The car veered off the road, hit a tree, and burst into flames. I just saw, and I was like, oh my gosh, they look like they need help. Only on 10 tonight, we're hearing from a driver who stopped to help after coming upon the horrific scene. This as Massachusetts State Police try to figure out how this could have happened. NBC 10's Sierra Putman is live near the scene now in Swansea with the latest news, Sierra. Well, yeah, we're live here in Swansea, and the crash happened right behind me on 195, and we spoke to one of the people who stopped to help. And I just told him to pull over. Most people wouldn't stop in the middle of the highway to go towards a burning car, but Megan Ribello said she had to help. She shared this video only with NBC10. It shows her helping one of the victims of Thursday night's fiery crash. She wasn't alone. Yeah, they had just pulled him out, and then we had to drag him away. He was so hurt and so just shaken. The flames were too big to go back for the other two people inside the car. A young man and woman died. Unless you want to go down with it. I mean, even the cop had to back away. There was no, <clears throat> there was no going. It was quick. It was so quick. Maybe that'll give them some peace. Robello says the sole survivor was about in his 20s. She says he was badly injured, and she kept trying to talk to him and hold his hand. You want to cry, but I'm sitting here holding his hand, being strong. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. He told her four people were in the car. He kept saying all four of us, but I don't know. I mean, he was in shock. But that may explain why police were seen combing this wooded area into the night and into Friday morning. Troopers are now trying to figure out why the 2008 Chevrolet Cobalt veered off the road. Megan says the entire scene was traumatic. Now she just prays for the young man who held her hand. I just hope his parents know that I was there with them. says she did not catch the young man's full name, but she would really like to know how he's doing now. Reporting live in Swansea, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.